Haha, <laughs> Eureka, I found it. Welcome back to Land the House. I am excited about today's vlog and work day. Here is my list of things to hopefully accomplish today. Hike the mountain to find my neighbor's water wheel. <laughs> so last week I tried to go for a four wheeler ride up the mountain and I mentioned that if my neighbor was out, it would turn into a conversation about uh, alternative power. And it did. And so uh, he mentioned that his water wheel was in the creek spinning. And if you watch the channel for a while here, you know that I have wanted to do a water wheel for a long time. So I thought we'll hike up there and find it. I want to do the last two walls of the playhouse. Let me open the door here. It's uh, almost 7 a.m. Kind of getting an earlier start than usual today. So you can see I have two walls done and I want to get the other two on there this morning. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to try and get to the garden where I shrink it down. Uh, we need to run the house. So I found a copper head yesterday or two days ago. And uh, Em and I were going out to go under the house to clean the water filter. And I look over and I see a coil about, I don't know, six inches or so. And I'm like, ah, that's not a water snake. Um, so anyway, I got the shovel out and um, took care of that guy. And whenever uh, he was cut in half, he was just striking at that shovel. Uh, fast forward the next day, I take a stick and look at his uh, mouth push on the cheek and the fangs pop down. So I definitely knew we were dealing with a bad snake. Uh, so we, we need to run the house to take care of some of that grass. Uh, I gotta ship some ram pumps. Uh, I've been accepting a few reviews again. Uh, I figured it's good uh, PR maybe, I don't know. And then uh, it fills a couple of days with more content. So uh, Wild Tech has a new light and uh, it's it's pretty good so definitely going to be um, showing you that one for probably saturday's video i think um let's see business stuff business stuff oh yeah um so last week we had a video that was pretty cool uh, i built a clear pvc pressure tank for the ramp pump and put a pool noodle in there and it just shriveled it up real quick so all of my land to house ram pumps come with a bicycle inner tube in the pressure tank and so i want to do almost a full week test with a bicycle inner tube just to see how well and how effective that works and then lastly uh, i think what i'm gonna do right now is trim some of the branches with the um the extended trimmer that i got from my dad last week so let's head out here and do that Heeding the advice of my subscriber and old college friend, Gene, I'm not gonna touch the branches that are actually connecting with the power line, but I am gonna try and get these branches right here uh, that just kind of hang over about, I don't know, eight feet above the road because uh, my neighbors up the way have a camper and when they pull through here, it smacks all the branches as they go down. I may also go over to uh, this uh, bigger tree over here a beech tree or whatever it is and get those limbs out from the road as well so I thought it would be nice to move these branches to the woods over here. And I got popped in the back of the neck. Let's see if I can see it. Right there. I'm not sure if it was a, a yellow jacket or what it was, but whew, it hurts. I just walked down to the creek to install the inner tube for the ram pump test this week. And my union is stuck. 
So I've got to figure out a way to get this open. I tried putting a clamp on it and then twisting it. No go. So maybe if I put it in my vise over here, I can then, uh, hmm, let's try it. Let's see if there's enough room in here to get this. No, I won't have enough room in the vise. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Clamps are basically giant uh, channel locks, so let's go ahead and see if I can use these two sets of clamps here to uh, get this open. Sure would be sad if I broke it on the second use, huh? It could be most expensive broken pressure tank. Okay. There goes the rubber piece on this clamp, which is, in my opinion, one of the worst designs of a product. Okay, here we go. Uh, nothing yet. All right, gonna need more on this guy. We got some movement in there. Aha! Got it. Giant fight scripts. Okay, I think that should do it. But at least we now know how to get this open when it happens again. I went to college, learned all kinds of stuff. Well, I made some nice progress on the playhouse. I have all four walls up, and the uh, window on the front is what took me the longest. It was just a bit of a figuring outside of the plan that I already had. So, uh, I didn't get too weedy, but I'm sure the grass will be there next week when I decide to do it. It's time to go explore the creek because I want to find my neighbor's water wheel. He told me he had built one, and so I want to hike up the creek and see if we can find it. And uh, to do that, I'm using the Land to House trekking poles, available at uh, Amazon, and also landtohouseshop.com. So if you want to uh, check those out, I'll have links in the description down below. I wonder how the ramp pump's doing over here. Let's go check it out. So I left the uh, inner tube in there and uh, it's just been clicking away. Well, it's only been four hours, but I can see the water level is still where it was before. And the inner tube, I can see pulsing inside of that uh, pressure tank, which means it still has air in it. I don't know if I can get this to focus or not. First stop is where I was uh, practicing my crossbow. Uh, I just set up this little target. No one liked it, so I stopped filming those. Well, I don't mean no one liked it, but there were only about uh, 300 people out of the 50,000 subscribers that liked those videos, so I abandoned them. Okay, off up the hill. There's kind of an old trail here that, uh, oh, that spider web. Can you see it? Yeah, an old trail that I'm following here. Just go up the mountain and see if I can find that water wheel. So hiking up the creek about five minutes, there is a spring right here that actually flows quite nicely. And there is a large spring right in here that's really pumping out a lot of water. You can see all of that. And also, there's a spring right over there and then a bigger spring over on the other side over there. But, I found the water wheel. Let's go over here and check it out. There it is. So apparently it's not working at the moment. I wonder if they have an, a motor hooked up to it. Construction seems pretty simple. It's got, uh, looks like just a couple of PVC parts and a metal pipe going through. And I'm wondering if the reason it's not spinning is because that's touching it. Let's move over here. 
I'm not seeing any kind of motor. I wonder if I move this, if it'll start. Yep. There we go. Not exactly a full-time spin, is it? Interesting. So, I may not be a professional at this, but here are the things I think keeping this from working. It needs to have some kind of linear bearing, or whatever those bearings are called, instead of that pipe system. That's just not going to be uh, fluid enough to keep that going. It needs a lot more water, and I wonder if maybe it's not balanced properly. Um, but it's not far off from the design that I was kind of considering. Uh, I probably have used uh, exterior grade. It gets heavy enough and it spins. I was probably going to use exterior grade plywood and paint it, I guess. But um, let's go see what the water intake looks like. Maybe it's stopped up and we can get some more water. So I actually walked up the creek a ways looking for some big fancy intake. But I think this is it right here. It's just a pipe with a couple rocks on it. So that means another issue I'm seeing is that uh, it's easy to clog up the intake here, which isn't good, but a big problem is there's a slight upward notch right there and that's going to seriously uh, slow down that uh, the pressure inside of this pipe so if they were to drop that down just a notch or what i would do is take this pipe up another uh i don't know five ten feet up there and really get something going because there's an airlock right there I can just see it because all of my work with ram pumps just tells me that this is an issue right here where this log is right here. Anyway, that's cool, but uh, I think I'm going to talk to the neighbor and give him some thoughts that I have. So I'm working on a ram pump intake that is going to use a bulkhead into the side of a cheese shaped. Uh, like a wedge shaped box with screen on top <laughs> uh, so water will come over the box fill the box but the debris will go off the top so and it can be as wide as you need it to be so in this case he could make it uh, up top there and maybe have it three or four feet wide bringing in all of that water and bring it into the pipe here because that pipe with the appropriate uh, pull on it should be able to bring Man, I don't know, 20 gallons a minute, something like that, with enough uh, gravity pressure behind it. Um, so anyway, I think it has potential, but I would go up another uh, five or so feet and pull from up there. Well, it's been a fun day so far. Uh, here is a clip of me fixing a mistake of mine at our uh, church. So enjoy that real quick. You may have seen in my previous video that I built this sound booth for my church. And uh, I sent several people the dimensions that I was gonna be building this in, but they decided that it's too tall after the fact. I have to agree. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is come back and shrink it down by this board here, which is almost uh, five inches. And to do that, uh, I'll have to pull this one off somehow. I may have to just take the, uh, the saw and just cut that one while it's here. But I want to make as little sawdust mess as possible. Um, one thing you didn't see was I added this door and uh, this little step down here. So anyway, you can step up like that. Uh, but, so if you're sitting here in a chair such as uh, this, you can't see over, and it's, you can't see over, it's 
computers, but basically that one board there is just enough that you can't see over. So I'm gonna cut that one out today. Yay! It looks great. Looks great. It's hard being construction dad when I have both kids here. Um, so I realized that I was gonna have to cut an inch and a half below the uh, board that was here. So it's a little bit more awkward than I thought it would be. Uh, but I got this board off of here and now I'm just uh, using my tape measure, measuring down the five inches here and uh, cutting this off. And I should just be able to put top plate back on there Screw it in and be good to go. Okay, I just got all the work done there. I didn't really show you anything, but it's about five inches shorter than it was before. Um, so anyway, on to something else more exciting. We're back home and the power is out. It's kind of getting dark, which I know you can't really tell here because it's kind of brighter on camera, but I reviewed this uh, Sun Bonner light and we're gonna use that in here in the house to, uh, let's see, there we go. Provide some light while we uh, clean up Emma's nasty room. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, this vlog is, uh, I think, just the right length now. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go back to the house and uh, start prepping ram pumps to be shipped out because work day is officially over. I will see you in the next video.